So these two stories I'm really excited to share. They actually come from one of um, Usher Yarn's subscribers, Gabriel Alade from the Torres Strait. Hey Gabriel, big shout out. I really appreciate you sharing these stories and trusting me to tell them. The first story happens in November 2022. My mother, her husband and two of their grandkids were travelling back down to Cairns from Bamaga after the Dan Rope Yarn footy carnival. They were on the Peninsula Development Road in between Han River and Laura when my mother and her husband saw three green lights moving through the bush about 30 metres on the left of the road. They flew with speed right past my mother and her husband staying in the tree line. As they continued to drive, my mother checked the time. It was 10 p.m. She was scared and decided to cover the back windows with blankets and towels so the grandkids wouldn't see anything. A few minutes later, her husband said to her, don't look up. But she looked up ahead and they saw two of the green glowing lights, which looked to be just floating, staying still in the tree line to their left, about 20 meters into the scrub. They saw another green glowing light on the right side of the road, which was about 10 meters in from the road line. As they drove past, they were both scared and shaking. They focused on the single closer light as they passed. What they saw was a six feet figure of a traditional Aboriginal man with a long beard standing there holding the green glowing light in front of him. He just watched them as they drove past. They continued on the road for a bit and eventually came to Laura where they ended up staying the night because they were too frightened to continue driving through the night. The second incident happened in 2021. Me and two other mates from Cairns were driving north to the community of Aracoon on the Peninsula Development Road. A few kilometres out of the small town of Cohen, the time was about 1 to 2 a.m. As we slowed down to take a sharp corner, we all saw what looked like an Aboriginal woman of dark complexion walk out of the tree line in front of us. She was wearing all white. She didn't seem to see us or even acknowledge us. She wasn't transparent. She looked solid like a real person would. She came within a few centimetres from the back passenger window, which one of my mates was sitting in. He jumped over to the other side of the back seat, yelling. We later heard that a woman went missing from the Cohen area months earlier. <laughs> 